Introduction to AI, Artificial Intelligence. Now, AI enables us to build amazing software that can improve healthcare, enable people to overcome physical disadvantages, empower smart infrastructure, create incredible entertainment experiences, and even save the planet. Now, what is AI or artificial intelligence? So simply put, AI is the creation of a software that imitates human behaviors and capabilities. Key workloads include machine learning. This is often the foundation for an AI system. This is the way we teach a computer model to make predictions and draw conclusions from data. Anomaly detection, the capability to automatically detect errors and unusual activity in a system. Computer vision, the capability of software to interpret the world visually through cameras, video, and images. Natural language processing, the capability for a computer to interpret written or spoken language and respond in kind. Knowledge mining, the capability to extract information from large volumes of often unstructured data to create a searchable knowledge store. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next lecture. What is generative AI? OpenAI makes its AI models available to developers and build powerful software applications such as ChatGPT. There are tons of other examples of OpenAI applications on the OpenAI site, ranging from practical such as generating text from code to purely entertaining such as making up scary stories. Let's identify where OpenAI models fit into AI landscape. So, artificial intelligence imitates human behavior by relying on machines to learn and execute tasks without explicit directions on what to output. Machine learning models take in data like weather conditions and fit the data to an algorithm to make predictions like how much money a store might make in a given day. Deep learning models use layers of algorithms in the form of artificial neural networks to return results for more complex use cases. Many Azure AI services are built on deep learning models. You can check out this article to learn more about the difference between machine learning and deep learning. Generative AI models can produce new content based on what is described in the input. And the open AI models are a collection of generative AI models that can produce language, code, and images. Thanks for watching. Describe Azure Open AI. Microsoft has partnered with OpenAI to deliver on three main goals. To utilize Azure's infrastructure, including security, compliance, and regional availability, to help users build enterprise-grade applications. To deploy OpenAI model capabilities across Microsoft products, including and beyond Azure AI products. To use Azure to power all of the OpenAI's workloads. Now, let's have an introduction to Azure OpenAI Service. Azure OpenAI Service is a result of a partnership between Microsoft and OpenAI. The service combines Azure's enterprise-grade capabilities with OpenAI generative AI model capabilities. Azure OpenAI is available for Azure users and consists of four components. Pre-trained generative AI models, customization capabilities, the ability to fine-tune AI models with your own data, built-in tools to detect and mitigate harmful use cases so users can implement AI responsibly, enterprise-grade security with role-based access control RBAC and private networks. So using Azure, OpenAI allows you to transition between your work and a with Azure services and OpenAI Why utilizing Azure's private networking, regional availability, and responsible AI content filtering. Now understand Azure OpenAI workloads. Azure OpenAI supports many common AI workloads and solves for some new ones. Common AI workloads include machine learning, computer vision, natural language processing, conversational AI, anomaly detection, and knowledge mining. Other AI workloads Azure OpenAI supports can be categorized by tasks they support, like generating natural language, text completion, generate and edit text, embeddings, search, classify, and compare text. And we have generating code, which means generate, edit, and explain code. And we have generating images, so to generate and edit images. Now, Azure OpenAI's relationship to Azure AI services. So you can see that here, 
we have two types here in the Microsoft AI portfolio. We have business users and citizen developers, and we have developers and data scientists. So for the, the first part here, the business users and citizen developers, we have Microsoft 3065, Dynamic 3065, Edge, Microsoft Bing, Windows, Xbox. We have the Power PI, Power Apps, Power Automate, and Power Virtual Agents for the Power Platform and the applications. Now, on the other hand, the developers and that sense for the Azure AI, we have the Applied AI Services and Cognitive Services and the ML Platform, Machine Learning Platform. So for the AI services, we have bot service, cognitive search, form recognizer, video indexer, metric advisor, immersive reader. For the cognitive services, we have vision, speech, language, decisions, and open AI service. For the ML platform, we have Azure machine learning. Azure AI services are tools for solving AI workloads and can be categorized into three grouping. Azure Machine Learning Platform, Cognitive Services, and Applied AI. Azure Cognitive Services has five pillars, vision, speech, language, decision, and the Azure Open AI service. The services you choose to use depend on what you need to accomplish. In particular, there are several overlapping capabilities between the Cognitive Services language service and Open AI service, such as translation, sentiment analysis, and keyword extraction. While there is no strict guidance on when to use a particular service, Azure existing language service can be used for widely known use cases that require minimal tuning, the process of optimizing a model's performance. Azure OpenAI service may be more beneficial for use cases that require highly customized generative models or for exploratory research. Now, when making business decisions about what type of model to use, it's important to understand how time and compute needs factor into machine learning training. In order to produce an effective machine learning model, the model needs to be trained with substantial amount of clean data. The learning portion of training requires a computer to identify an algorithm that best fits the data. The complexity of the task model needs to solve for and the desired level of model performance all factor into the time required to run through possible solutions for a best fit algorithm. Thanks for watching. How to use Azure OpenAI? Currently, you need to apply for access to Azure OpenAI. Once granted access, you can use the service by creating an Azure OpenAI resource like you would for any other Azure services. Once the resource is created, you can use the service through REST APIs, Python SDK, or the web-based interface in the Azure OpenAI Studio. So here you can see this is an image. Here is an image of the OpenAI Studio. So you can, this is as a preview. So in the Azure OpenAI Studio, you can build AI models and deploy them for public consumption in software applications. Azure OpenAI's capabilities are made possible by specific generative AI models. Different models are optimized for different tasks. Some models excel at summarization and providing general and structured responses, and others are built to generate code or unique images from text input. These Azure OpenAI models fall into few main families, GPT-4, GPT-3, Codex, Embeddings, Dell E. So Azure OpenAI AI models can all be trained and customized with fine tuning and we will not go into custom models here, but you can learn more about it on the fine tuning your model Azure code documentation. All right, no worries, we will handle that later on. Now we have the playgrounds. So in Azure OpenAI Studio, you can experiment with OpenAI models in the playgrounds. In the completions playground, you can type in prompts, configure parameters, and see responses without having to code. So here you can see that this is an example of it. Now in chat playground, you can use the assistant setup to instruct the model about how it should behave. The assistant will try to mimic the responses you include in tone, rules, and format you have defined in your system message. So as you can see here, this is an example of it. All right, thanks for watching. Understand OpenAI's natural language capabilities. Azure OpenAI natural language models are able to take in natural language and generate responses. Natural language learning models are trained on words or chunks of characters known as tokens. 
For example, the word hamburger gets broken up into tokens ham, bur, and ger. So hamburger. While a short and common word like beer is a single token. These tokens are mapped into vectors for machine learning model to use for training. When a trained natural language model takes in a user's input, it also breaks down the input into tokens. Now understanding the GPT models for natural language generation. So generative pre-trained transformer GPT models are excellent at both understanding and creating natural language. If you have seen recent news around AI answering questions or writing a paragraph based on a prompt, it likely could have been generated by GPT model. GPT models often have the version appended to the end, such as GPT-3 or 4. Azure OpenAI offers preview access to JetGPT, powered by GPT-35, Turbo, and to GPT-4. Now, what does a response from GPT model look like? A key aspect of OpenAI generative AI is that it takes an input or prompt for to return to a, na a natural language visual or code response. GPT tries to infer or guess the context of the user's question based on the prompt. GPT models are great at completing several natural language tasks, some of which include like the following. So here is, is it. So you can see the task summarizing text. This is uh, the prompt will be summarized this text into a short blurb. The task is classifying text. Now the prompt will be what genre of book is this? The task will be generating names or phrases. The prompt write a tagline for uh, my flower company. The task will be translation and the prompt will translate how are you into French. The task, if answering a questions, the prompt will be what does Azure OpenAI do? The task suggesting content. Prompt will give me the five best weddings songs. So for example, given a prompt where the user types in text asking for cookie recipe, so like it will be like this, write a recipe based on these ingredients and instructions. Fruit pie, ing the ingredients will be strawberries, blueberries, flour, eggs, milk, and so on. You can see that, here it is. Now here's an example for the OpenAI API generated response. So the instructions will be, preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In the medium bowl, mix together one cup of flour and one egg until it forms a dough. Grease a 9-inch pie dish with butter or non-stick cooking spray. Roll out the dough and place it in the pie dish. Five in a, a separate bowl, mix together one cup of strawberries, one cup of blueberries, and one cup of milk. Then pour the fruit mixtures into the pie dish. Then uh, finally, to bake it. So delicious, maybe, it is important to understand that the generated response are best guesses from a machine. In this case, the generated text may be useful for cooking something that tastes good in real life, or not. Now, how models are applied to a new use cases? You may have tried out JetGPT predictive capabilities in Chat Portal, where you can type prompts and receive automated responses. The portal consists of the front-end user interface UI users see and a back-end that includes a generative AI model. The combination of the front and back-end can be described as a chatbot. The model provided on the back-end is what is available as building block with both OpenAI API and Azure OpenAI API. So you can utilize ChatGPT's capabilities on Azure OpenAI via the GPT-35 Turbo model. When you see generative AI capabilities in other applications, developers have taken the building blocks, customized them to use case, and built them into backend of a new front-end user interfaces. Thanks for watching. Understand OpenAI code generation capabilities. Code generation AI models are able to take natural language or code snippets and translate them into code. The OpenAI code generation model family codex is proficient in over a dozen languages, such as C-Sharp, JavaScript, Perl, PHP, and is most capable in Python. Codex. Codex models are based off of GPT-3 and are optimized to understand and write code. These models have been trained on both natural language and billions of lines of code from public repositories. Codex is able to generate code from natural language instructions, such as code comments, and can suggest ways to complete code functions. 
For example, given the prompt write for loop count from 1 to 10 in Python, the following answer will be providing like the following here. So you can see this is a for loop, i in range 1 to 11, and then print the i. So code generation models can help developers code faster, understand new coding languages, and focus on solving bigger problems in their application. Developers can break down their goal into simpler tasks and use codecs to help build those out tasks using known patterns. Examples of code generation Part of the training data for GPT-3 included programming languages, so it is no surprise that the GPT models can answer programming questions if asked. What's unique about Codex model family is that it's more capable across more languages than GPT models. Codex goes beyond just writing code from natural language prompt, giving the following code it can generate units like tests like this. So here you can see, this is for button three, this is uh, multi numbers A and B, it will return A multiplied by B. This is the unit test for it. Yeah, these are the unit test for it, as you can see. Here you can see the test multi numbers, it will take and assert if these equal 12, equal 0, equal 0, which means this is correct. All right. And the same thing for multi numbers negative. So even if it is negative, it should be working correctly. So this is a code and with the unit test. Codex can also summarize functions that are already written, explain SQL queries or tables, and convert a function from one programming language into another. When interacting with Codex models, you can specify libraries or language specific tags to make it clear to Codex that we want. For example, we can provide this prompt formatted as HTML comment, like you can see that, build a page titled Let's Learn About AI, and then get this result. Now, GitHub Copilot. OpenAI partnered with GitHub to create GitHub Copilot, which they call an AI pair programmer. GitHub Copilot integrates the power of OpenAI Codex into a plugin for developer environments like Visual Studio Code. Once the plugin is installed and enabled, you can start writing your code, and GitHub Copilot starts automatically suggesting the reminder of the function based on code comments or the function name. For example, we have only a function name in the file, and the gray text is automatically suggested to complete it. So here, an example of our, the GitHub Copilot. You can see that this is a function, and it has like some values inside it the constant value, and it will return whatever, whatever, okay? This is just an example. Now, GitHub Copilot offers multiple suggestions for code completion, which you can tap through using keyboard shortcut. When given informative code comments, it can even suggest a function name along with the completion function code. Thanks for watching. Understand OpenAI image generation capabilities. Image generation models can take a prompt, a base image, or both, and create new thing, something new. These generative AI models can create both realistic and artistic images, change the layout or style of an image, and create variation on a provided image. DAL E. In addition to a natural language capabilities, generative AI models can edit and create images. The model that works with images is called DAL E. Much like GBT models, Subsequent versions of DAL E are appended to into name such as DAL E2. Image capabilities generally fall into the three categories of image creation, editing an image, and creating variation of an image. Image generation. Now original images can be generated by providing a text prompt of what you like the image to be of. The more detailed the prompt, the more likely the model will provide a desired result. With Dell E, you can even request an image in a particular style, such as a dog in a style of Vincent van Gogh. Styles can be used for edits and variations as well. For example, given the prompt, an elephant standing with a burger on top, style digital art. The model generates digital art images, depicting exactly what is asked for. Now here you can see this is the image. Here is the elephant above it is a burger. And here is another image, as well these. Now, when asked for something more generic like pink fox, the images generated are more varied and simpler, while still fulfilling what is asked for. This is uh, one of the examples, as you can see, a fox, a pink fox.
And however, when we make the prompt more specific, such as Bing Fox running through a field in the style of Monet, the model creates much more sim similar detailed images. So you can see this is another one. So this is a fox running in the field. Editing an image. Now when provided an image, DAL-E can create the image as requested by changing its style, adding or removing items, or generating new content to add. Edits are made by uploading the original image and specifying a transparent mask that indicates what area of the image to edit. Along with the image and mask, a prompt indicating what is to be edited instructs the model to then generate the appropriate content to fill the area. When given one of the above images of a pink fox, a mask covering the fox, and the prompt of a blue gorilla reading a book in a field, the model creates edits of the image based on the provided input. So here, let's have a look here. So you can see this is a gorilla reading a book in the wild, and here the images about it. Now image variations. Image variation can be created by providing an image and specifying how many variations of the image you would like. The general content of the image will stay the same, but aspects will be adjusted such as where subjects are located or looking, background scene, and colors may change. For example, if I upload one of the images of the elephant wearing a burger as a hat, I get a variation of the same subject. So let's have a look here. So you can see that this is an elephant wearing a burger and so on. All right. Thanks for watching. Describe Azure Open AI's access and responsible AI policies. It's important to consider the ethical implications of working with AI systems. Azure AI provides powerful natural language models capable of completing various tasks and operating in several different use cases, each with their own consideration for safe and fair use. Teams or individuals tasked with developing and deploying AI systems should work to identify, measure, and mitigate harm. Usage of Azure A Open AI should follow the six Microsoft AI principles. Fairness, AI system shouldn't make decisions that discriminate against or support bias of a group of or individuals. Reliability and safety, AI system should respond safely to new situations and potential manipulation. Privacy and security, AI systems should be secure and respect data privacy. Inclusiveness, AI systems should empower everyone and engage people. Accountability. People must be accountable for how AI system operated. Transparency. AI system should have explanation so users can understand how they are built and used. So responsible AI principles guide Microsoft's transparency notes on Azure Open AI, as well as explanation of other products. Transparency notes are intended to help you understand how Microsoft AI technology works. The choices system owners can make that influence system performance and behavior, and the importance of thinking about the whole system, including the technology, the people, and the environment. Now, limited access to Azure Open AI. As part of Microsoft's commitment to using AI responsibly, access to Azure Open AI is currently limited. Customers that wish to use Open AI must submit a registration form for both initial experimentation access and again for approval for use in production. Additional registration is required for customers who want to modify content filters or modify abuse monitoring settings. Thanks for watching.